2022 VW Amarok pickup details now more clear. U.S. prospects still dim. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribing so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you. And don't forget to press the bell icon, so that you get notification updates about the latest videos from us. Thank you. The Volkswagen Amarok midsize pickup never made it to the U.S. market, despite this country's penchant for trucks, because it was simply too expensive and too premium. It was a cult-like favorite in Europe and South America but discontinued there, too, last year. Now VW is starting to talk about the next-generation Amarok, which will be based on the Ford Ranger. It's part of a collaboration that includes a VW Caddy-based Ford City van and another commercial vehicle project. The teaser rendering for the next Amarok looks tough and cool, and there has been speculation that it could come to the U.S. market. The Amarok was a refined tool that seemed more like a Touareg with an open rear bed than a simple truck. In South America and Europe, it gained a strong, almost cult-like reputation. But alas, it was yanked from European markets last year. The end of the Amarok in the old world was swift and ugly, as VW is prepping its Hanover, Germany, production site for EVs including the ID, Buzz and an upcoming D-segment SUV, they were planning to import the Amarok from Argentina. But when a transnational customs and tariffs deal didn't come through, not exactly a surprise, given the glacial speed of such negotiations, VW was left with empty hands. They would have had to mark up the already steep price of the Amarok by another 30% or so to match the import duties. In typical post-peach fashion, VW had no plan B. By now, the last units have been snatched up by connoisseurs. Details are still a bit sketchy, but we do know that VW will go for a dual-cab design. The single-cab configuration that served as an entry-level choice for the predecessor will be ditched. It will feature a body-on-frame architecture that is loosely related to the new Ford Broncos, and potentially, there could be a vast number of powertrain options. The Amarok could draw from Ford's parts bin in the form of the 2.3-liter turbo 4 and possibly even the 2.7-liter turbo V6. But we also expect to see diesel engines for markets outside the US. Ford itself has traditionally used 4- and 5-cylinder turbo diesels, which could work their way into the Amarok. VW insiders have also hinted at the ultimate powertrain for a midsize pickup, an updated version of the silky smooth 3.0-liter V6 TDI, which is available on the old Amarok and on a vast number of upscale VW Group cars. Current owners would go berserk if they had to downgrade to a clattering 4. Karsten Intra, head of VW's commercial vehicle division, says that styling and equipment of the new Amarok will differ from the Ranger. We hope that's also the case regarding the build quality. The last brand new Ranger we tested in Europe had flash rust on suspension components when it was delivered, and the overall driving experience was a far cry from the Amarok.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.